Hello, Short Me Tina once again from shortmetina.com. Uh, doing a video recap of ticker symbol GOOS Canada Goose. Right now, what you're looking at is a daily chart since the stock IPO'd, which is around uh, March of 2017. So, about a little, a little over a year ago, about a year and three to four months. I hope this audio is better. Uh, for the past couple of weeks, hence why I didn't do a video yesterday, my audio or my microphone has been kind of, you know, the audio quality is not the best. Today I actually went out, bought like, an, you know, a microphone that's supposed to be sort of like top of the line, a bit more pricier, and then I get home and I'm trying to hook it up and it's not working and I'm getting frustrated because I just don't want to go another day without doing a video. So like I rehooked you know, I, I hooked up the um, old microphone or I was testing it out and the quality didn't sound as bad as I thought it was or maybe it's just kind of like self-correcting itself somehow. So I hope, I don't know what this is going to sound like, but as long as it's the faint of, as long as you can hear it a little bit, I'm going to release the video. So I'm hoping that the video or the audio is better. And if it's really poor in terms of quality, please let me know that. Because if so, then I'll just go back and replace it for the exact same thing versus trying to like, you know, get like a upgraded uh, microphone. Any rate, at any rate, so to Canada Goose, man, I'm telling you, another stock on my 2000 and rather my top picks to succeed in 2018. So let me give you a little background about my list. I released this list um, around... So again, give you a bit of history or background about my list. So I want to say late 2017, around November, I released about nine stocks that I thought had the potential to crush it in 2018. Not penny stocks. I mean, stocks that I thought had the ability to give uh, investors 200%, 300%, potentially four, 500% on their money. And... Um, as they, as they hit certain milestones, I've been releasing them. So to recap, right, uh, before I get into the chart on Goose, this is the third one that I'm releasing. And mind you, this is a list of nine. So it's not like a list of 50 and I'm just lucky with uh, three of them. This is a list of nine. And believe it or not, the other six that's on the list, they're doing its thing. Well, majority of them. There might be one or two that's laggards. Actually, no, I think there might only be one that's probably break even. The others are definitely double digits, I see 100% at the end of the year. And I want that because then I can say, wow, out of nine stocks that I release in 2017 to my premium members, they've all hit 100% in terms of gains. And we're not talking penny stocks. So to recap, the first one that I so showed you folks. So the first one that I showed you guys was ticker symbol, uh, uh, rather ticker B-O-X box. We got into this trade, or when it first came on my radar, let's say in November of 2017, that would be around here somewhere. Stock was trading around um, anywhere from $17 to $20. I think we got into it with a buy zone of like $17.50 $17 to $18. Most recently, stock saw a high of $18. We're definitely going to get a double on this one. It's going to be $34. Despite this pullback, it's consolidating for its next move up. Trust me. The next one I recently released, I believe I released this one last week or two weeks ago. Canopy Growth Weed. Uh, best, best, the best way to play the marijuana sector. Let's go back to November of 2017. We got into this stock or this, actually this stock came on my list when it was trading around $18, right? We most recently saw a high of about $40. You do the percentage, right? Came on my came on my radar in my list when the stock was trading around 17. We're now sitting at 39. Most recently went as high as around 41. And now my golden child, love, love, love this one, right? My golden child, Canada Goose. The arrow is pointing because it tells you when this the stock was first placed on my 2017 list. Or rather placed on my list late 2017 for stocks to succeed in 2018. And when this stock was on my radar, it was trading at around $19 or $20. We're sitting here at $61. I knew this was coming. I was just waiting patiently, waiting patiently. And I said, you know what? When I release this to the public, it's going to be like a boom, right? Beautiful. So, and this was actually 
I want to say it was alerted to my premium members twice. The first time, again, was in November of 2017 when it was trading at around uh, $20, right? Whoever held, you're, you're looking at $40 for every share owned, right? Not no poultry. I shouldn't say that. 3% is good, 5%, 9% is good, but from $20 to 60, that's amazing. Second time it got on our radar was most recently, actually. Uh, I want to say like the uh, beginning to uh, beginning of May to mid May, when the stock was trading at around uh, 38, 37, somewhere around there. I re-alerted it to new members. I said, "Look, granted it's made this massive move up, but trust me, it's gearing up for another move." And they've almost doubled, right? It's almost a hundred percent gain in under a month. Now, huge gap up, incredible volume. Obviously, you're going to have your pullback, right? But I think we might actually squeeze a little bit more out of this before a minor pullback. I don't expect the stock to pull back intensely. Canada Goose, please put it on your radar. Stock has been explosive. In fact, it's actually it's been on my radar since it IPO'd. I day traded it a bit or swing. Yeah, you can say day traded. Day traded, you know, held it for about two, three days. Uh, when it first IPO'd, got rid of it. But I knew, just wanted the stock to stabilize knew that we were going to be looking at this sort of print at some point. So I'm not going to lecture you guys, but once again, super, super, super important. When a stock is doing what it needs to do, you don't need to sell it. Buy and hold. Buy and hold good stocks, right? Because if you got, like, so, for, so say for example, you got into it when I first released uh, my list for 2018 stocks to succeed back in November of 2017. If you got into it around $20, right? You'd, you'd have been not, you would have been tempted to sell around 40 who wouldn't right that's like a double however if you shave you know take a little bit off the top and hold on to some again because I always say you never know how far your winners are gonna go you'd be richly rewarded right now I mean you cannot ask for a bet uh, you can't ask for a better pick right 20 to 60 not a penny stock put goose on your radar again I'm expecting pullbacks happen. This is a massive move. Pullbacks will happen. 30% in one day, 30% in one day. You're going to have your pullbacks. Put this on. Oh, in fact, let me pause and show you what I wrote about this on my list. All right. So kind of, I kind of like, uh, so there's, you know, it's a long page and there were some other picks that I haven't released yet. So I just kind of like did a snippet of goose. I said retail was left for dead. The last two years, but I finally believe things are looking up for the space since IPOing earlier this year, meaning 2017. The stock is up north of 100% in just a little in just a little over nine months. So despite that move, right, I knew there was more to come. Despite such a strong move year to date, I believe there's still further upside for the company, who seems to be the next big trend in apparel. Canada Goose can't ask for a better stock pick. So that's it. Keep paying attention. I will be releasing my 2000 and uh, my top picks of 2018 to shine. I'm super proud of this list. It took me a long time to get it together. Out of nine stocks, I, th I think it's about nine stocks. I'm fairly certain. Out of nine stocks, I have three that has completely crushed it so far. We have Box. We have uh, Weed, which is uh, rather canopy growth, which is the best way, in my opinion, to play the marijuana space. And we now have Canada Goose. And there's a couple of other stocks that I have there that are showing double digits, but I don't want to release them until they at least get to about 90 or 100% in gains. So that's it. Short me, Tina. I hope this audio is pretty okay. Head on over to shortmetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support.